I'm gonna teach you how to play Millionaire by none other than the great Chris Stapleton. What's up everybody, my name is Shaheen and I am excited to teach you how to play this song today. Chris Stapleton's third studio album from A Room Volume 2 came out earlier this month. It's been on repeat in my car, in my office, everywhere I've been. And I'm excited to teach you how to play the first track off this album. It's a super easy song to play, so I got three chords, so let's dive in. All right, first thing you need to know to play this song, standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E. And then you're gonna need a capo as well. Hit it on capo three in order to be able to play along with the recording. And the recording is in B flat, but we're gonna be playing chords in G because of this capo. So the only three chords you need to know for this whole song are G, C, and D. I'll explain to you those shapes as we go along, but it is as simple as that. The intro starts off with a little riff that goes like this. And all that is, is put your hand in the C shape, which is gonna be mute the low E string, three on A, two on D, open G, three, three on the high string. So that's your C shape for the whole song. And the intro is just a hammer on on the D string, open, two on the D string, to an open G, so it goes. So pluck those middle two strings, your D and your G. That's it, and then we go to chords. That's your G chord, so your G is three on the low E string. Mute the A with this meaty part of your middle finger right there. Open D, open G. 3-3 three, three on the high strings. And get those little stops in there with your hand to give the song the correct feel. And then we're gonna switch to the C really quick. All you gotta do is move your finger from the third fret on the low E to the third fret on the A. And then mute the low E string with this meaty part of your finger here. Second time through, we're gonna do that little riff from the intro. And we're gonna to switch to the D. Your D here is mute the low E string, open A, open D, and you wanna do a hammer on with your first finger on the G string. And three on the B string. Don't worry about that high E. If you play it open, it's fine. If you mute it with the back of your ring finger, is fine, but we go. And then you wanna do another riff. So you're going from, on the G string, still holding that D chord, but you're going from the two to the four with your pinky on the G string, back to the two, to open. And back to the C. Now this C, again, you wanna do a hammer on with your first finger on the D string, from open to two. Kinda of like the intro. So you get that sound in there. And that's the whole intro. So the whole intro goes like this. If you can't get all those little hammer-ons, don't worry about it. You can just play just the simple chords. Doesn't sound quite the same, but good enough to fool your friends, good enough to be able to play the song while you're learning how to do them. It's the exact same chord progression for the chorus. So it goes, they say love is more precious than gold. So the intro and the chorus 
are the exact same chords. From there, we go into the verse. All you need to know is a quick transition chord, and that's a G over B. So that's mute the low E string, two on the A, mute the D, open G, three, three. That makes me a millionaire. So make sure and hit that transition G over B on an upstroke. And then we're going into the verse. So the verse again is just a repeat of kind of those same chords, but in a different order. I got a woman with eyes that shine. So that's just a C to a G. And then we're gonna do a quick D down deep. C again as a diamond mine. Back to the D. She's my treasure so very rare. Again, we're just going basically C to G with a quick D in between phrases. She made me. again because the love is more fresh than gold can be bought it never could be sold I got love enough to share that made me a millionaire now after the second chorus, Chris goes into a solo section and underneath you're just going to play the chorus chords again. So coming out of the second chorus goes like this. That may be a millionaire. Here's the solo. that quick G over B transition chord again going into the bridge. When the kisses fall from everywhere. This is basically the verse chords again just with different melody and the bridge kind of feel. So you start on a C to a G and play that quick D chord as a transition between the phrases. So when the kisses fall from everywhere. why this chorus or this song is super easy to play and very repetitive. So the outro is me. Alright, well that's everything you need to know to be able to play this song by Chris Stapleton. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new content coming out. Be sure to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions as I do check those and respond. And also, let me know what song you want to learn next and I'll start working on a tutorial for that. Until then, keep on strumming.